Well, are you getting that feeling? You know, when we have all of these election sticks going on, it is that type of year and we will be going to the polls. Now, continuing with this weekend's final voter registration, it is essential to have a valid identification document in order to register and thereafter, of course, to vote. And uh, the Department of Home Affairs will be assisting people to get the necessary documentation. And joining us now from our studios in Bloemfontein, uh, we are across there to speak to the Minister of Home Affairs, uh, Minister Siabong Atkoile. Minister, good morning and uh, thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Live. Good morning, uh, Sakina and uh, viewers. So, Minister, we just uh, concluded a conversation with the chairperson of uh, the IEC uh, with regard to this weekend's final uh, voter registration drive. But what types of documents are needed in order to register uh, from your side? Uh, we will need a, a valid ID document, either the new smart card or the old uh, green ID book. And for those who have lost their IDs, we do provide what is called temp temporal identification certificate uh, so that you can be able to go and register. So those are the documents we'll be providing uh, today during the whole weekend of the registration from 8 to 5 in the afternoon uh, so that we can assist the res residents so that they also want to register, they can register. Those who want to collect their IDs, they can come and collect them in their offices. We have got quite a number of IDs which are lying in our offices at the moment. So will those offices be operational uh, throughout the weekend or is it just today? No, all our home affairs offices throughout the country will be operating, including this coming weekend on Saturday and Sunday. On the weekend of the 26th and 27th, which is this coming weekend, they'll open from 8 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. We have aligned our offices to the operating hours to those of the IEC so that we can assist the residents. We do understand that some of the people cannot be able to come to our offices because they are at school or at work. That's why we're opening and extending the operating hours to this weekend. So, Minister, let's just get some clarity. This will be to apply for um, ID documents, uh, the temporary identi uh, identity certificate, uh, nothing else. No, we will offer other services, but the priority will be given to those who want to print their temporary identity certificate, which they can get on the spot. For those who want to collect their IDs, they can get them in all our offices, uh, including this weekend. And those who still want to apply, because we're still encouraging people to apply for IDs, particularly the, the young people, and, uh, and those who still got their old cards, where we've got the facility to issue the new cards. But the, the, so the clarity... The, the major challenge is that we... I apologize, yes. Minister. I was going to say the yes, clarity then apply. is we're only doing yes. IDs this weekend. Yes. No passports, no birth certificates, no marriage certificates, nothing like that. No, they can do, they'll offer other services. But the, the, most of the staff will be focusing on the IDs and the temporal IDs, issuing of the IDs. Uh, we won't stop those who want to do their birth certificate because we're still encouraging uh, our, our people to register their children within the first 28 days. We will continue to offer the normal services which are offered in other, uh, during the course of the day. But prioritizing the issuing of the IDs, the collection of the IDs, and the, the issuing of the temporal identification certificate for those who have lost their IDs. Minister, uh, there was talk about backlogs with regard to people collecting their identity documentation. Um, how is that uh, process going in terms of clearing that backlog? And is there any way in which people can actually check whether their documents are ready for collection? Yes, we uh, just uh, uh, beginning of this month, we had about 300 
thousand uh, documents which were uncollected in our offices. Because we have had this campaign to work with stakeholders, particularly the councillors, community development workers, and traditional leaders and religious leaders, uh, we have managed to drop uh, this because more people are coming to our offices to collect their IDs. For instance, in Gauteng, I was in Gauteng yesterday, they were having about 90,000 uncollected IDs. They've dropped it now to about 55,000. It's still high, but people are coming to our offices. Here in the Free State, there were about 20,000 at the beginning of this month uncollected IDs, and they've dropped it now to about 16,000. But it's still high, but people are responding because we're working with the offices of the speakers in the legislature, with the offices of the speakers in the municipalities so that we can mobilize through our councillors who normally do door-to-door -door and community development workers to go and check these people whether they are still living in those places. Normally, the standard operating procedure, when your ID is ready to be collected, we send you an SMS. But the majority of our poor people change their phones quite frequently. And that's why we're using these other mechanisms like working with community stakeholders who can actually visit the place of residence. We issue them with the names and the addresses of the people who have not collected their IDs on a weekly basis so that they can go and mobilize those people to come and collect their identification documents in our offices. Um, Minister, the IEC indicating that they are expecting about uh, two and a half million uh, odd people to register to vote. Of those, uh, uh, do you have any indication of how many would be applying for identity documents? Uh, what I can say, we will be ready for any number. Uh, that's why from, uh, from uh, today, we are starting to deploy the, even the mobile tracks will assist us, the, the new ones, not those old ones, because those we decommission. The new ones can actually help us to even to collect your, your smart IDs in addition to our normal offices where we're operating at the moment. So we, will, we are ready to assist the citizens, those who want to apply, those who want to collect, those who have lost their IDs and want their reprint or want their temporary ID certificate. And just a final question, like in years gone by, will there be facilities, will Home Affairs offices be open on the election day? I know it hasn't been promulgated as yet, but will you be operational on the day? On the election day, we normally open so that people, they, all our offices again will be open so that the people who have lost their IDs, they can come and reprint them or get temporal ID certificates so they, because an, an ID document is what enables you to vote. You cannot go to vote, you cannot go to register if you don't have an identification document, a South African identification document. So even on election day itself, uh, we will make sure that all our offices are open so that people, those who want to collect their IDs or those who have lost their IDs, can be assisted. In addition, if we want to do a verification, let's say there's a query about your status, we'll also open our offices so that you can do the verifications of the people where there are queries. Well, Minister, thank you so much. Uh, Minister of Home Affairs, uh, Minister Siabonga Kwele, uh, just indicating to us exactly what will be happening with regard to Home Affairs. They will be operational this weekend, uh, today, Saturday, Sunday, and of course from 8 until 5. So uh, you can go there, receive your identi identity documents and whatever other services you may require. So uh, students, uh, those matriculants, you may want to also make use of this opportunity.